So you just looked at your latest electric bill and thought it was much higher than it should have been based on your power consumption. Is it possible that your power company is ripping you off due to an improperly calibrated smart meter? Absolutely. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to confirm that your smart meter is properly calibrated and not the reason why your electric bill is higher than normal. In order to perform this test, you're going to need an inexpensive tester like you see right here. If you do not have one, I placed a link in the video description area where you can purchase one. Taking a close look at the meter, you can see it says power on. And then it's going to tell you how much power is being consumed, 0 0.300 kW. That means 300 watts and 239 volts. So the first thing you want to do is turn off the main breaker for your home or business and then take a look at the meter. So let's do that first. Turn this off. Showing 240 volts on and it should read zero. Okay, so zero, zero, zero KW. Now, if you see a little bit of power still being drawn with the main breaker off, there's only two reasons for that. One can be you have your power coming in from above over here. That's a service entrance. And then it leaves in this fitting here, heading to the panel. Some homes, especially older ones, will have the pipe or conduit leaving at the bottom of the meter. And it's going to be a metallic tubing that runs straight down into the concrete or under the slab. You want to inspect that very carefully because in the past I've seen where it curves to go under the foundation, the conduit is corroded, has a hole in it, and if water finds its way into that conduit, after years of being exposed to water, there's a chance that current can start flowing between the wire and the water in the conduit to ground, and that will give you a reading that you could see on the meter. But if you don't have a conduit like that, or your conduit is plastic, and you still see a reading that's higher than zero, with the main breaker turned off, you're definitely going to want to call the power company because that's not normal. You should not see anything there except for zeros with the breaker turned off. Now the way we're going to confirm that the calibration is accurate or very close to accurate is very simple. You're going to leave one 240 volt circuit on. Now what I'm going to do is leave on just the dryer in the house. So that's going to stay on. I'm going to turn every one of these off. All right, put this back on. And it should still say zero. Let's see. It's a possibility the circuitry in the dryer may have a low reading show up. So let's take a look. No, it's showing zero kilowatt hours. The next step is to remove the cover on the breaker panel. Now, if you're nervous about working inside of a panel like this, I suggest you put on rubber gloves and make sure you're wearing shoes. The next thing is I wanna make sure that the voltage shown on the meter is very close to what the voltage is across these two conductors. So this conductor here and that conductor there, those are your hot wires. Each one has a 120 volt potential to ground and this one here is neutral. So if you measure between this wire and this wire, you should see half of that amount which is 120 because the transformer is center tapped. And if you measure between that wire and here, you should also see 120. I'm gonna hold this right here, go between the lug, 119.5. All right, so pretty good. So that's 239, 239, so the voltage is good. So you can see right here, I left the dryer on. So the main breaker's on, dryer is on. I'm going to turn the dryer on, let it run for about 45 seconds to a minute to equalize, and then I wanna see how much power is displaying on the meter. So let me do that quickly. Okay, with the dryer on, let's take a look at the power consumption. 5,430 watts. Let me turn it back off because I wanna explain something before we continue testing. Okay, I turned the power off on the dryer. It's still connected up, of course. The reason why I turned it off is because you don't want to leave it running too long. It's going to cycle on and off once it gets hot. So I want to leave it off until I explain this first. So what we're going to do is you're going to take this meter, the clamp meter that measures current, and you're very carefully 
Good idea when you start reaching into a panel, like me, take off the metal watch. Anything that's metal on your hands could become a problem and result in a pretty serious electrical shock. So take off your jewelry and you're going to turn on the meter. It's going to be on amps. You're gonna reach around the main conductors, the service conductors up here. One there and the other one on the left when this is running. So you're gonna turn the dryer back on in case your electrical panel is not next to the meter like I have here. You're going to need an assistant to take a look at the meter, tell you what the values are and write them down while you're performing the test. Now let's turn on the dryer and do the test. 21.76. 23.62 amps. Okay, here's the calculation. So on one leg, we measured 21.76 amps at roughly 119.7 volts. That would give you 2,604.67 watts. The other leg, 23.62, multiplied by 119.5. That gives me the 28.22.59. And you can see the total is 5,427.26 watts. That's my calculation. The meter showed 5,380 at 237 volts. So we're coming in a little bit higher than the meter. And the reason being is because when you place a heavy load like this across those conductors, the voltage is going to drop. So we have a 237 volt reading Half of 237 over here is 118.5. So if you do the calculation over using the 118 volt figure, which is under load, you end up with 5,377 watts that you're actually using. And you can see only three watts apart. There is nothing wrong with that meter. So if you do this calculation and you notice that your amount is way below what's shown on the meter, you're going to have to call the power company up and file a complaint that the meter is not properly calibrated. They'll send somebody out to inspect it and probably either calibrate the meter or just swap it out. If your number's higher, then you're actually beating the power company because you're using more power than they're charging you for. And that's it, very simple to do. Just be careful when you're reaching inside the electrical panel to take the measurements. I hope you enjoyed this video.